It's a new game. I think I fixed the bugs. Mike Wimmer is a fairly ordinary 13 year old. It's fun to play for sure. He has a room full of matchbox cars, Legos, and video games. Play it against your buddies from school or anything? Yep, yep. How do you do since you don't have a driver's license yet? I do pretty good. I mean, I guess. <laughs> you begin to see the difference when you notice he's also the kid whose distractions include a solid Rubik's Cube, an Elon Musk biography, and a Mensa plaque on the wall. His parents began to notice Mike's ability when he was not much older than in these pictures. He was two, and they sent him to preschool. They called after the first day, and they were like, um, do you know Mike wrote his full name in sidewalk chalk and was doing multiplication on the ground? And we're like, well, yeah, he does that at home. Well, that's the first time we heard the word profoundly gifted. In the decade or so since, he's built quite a resume. A different kind of trophy case. Right. Mike graduated from high school and Rowan Cabarrus Community College at 12. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. As valedictorian, of course. There had to be a moment where you said, you know, I, I think I'm smarter than the average bear. You know, I, it was kind of, when I started going to school and started, as every kid does, comparing myself to others, and that's when I found out, hey, I might be a little bit different than everybody else. You know, I might get done a little faster, or I might get a higher grade or something like that. You might think schools would be driving about this fast to offer Mike an academic scholarship. Did Duke come knocking, MIT? Age played a large role in his college acceptance this year. This fall, Mike began working on both a bachelor's degree in computer science and an MBA at Carolina University, a small private school in Winston-Salem, and found that success when you're this age isn't as easy as you might think. You'll get doors slammed in your face everywhere you go, and you call and ask, hey, can, can my son come to your robotics camp? Oh, sure. Well, how old is he? Well, he's six. The well, no. Was always no. It was always no. Academia may not be reaching out to Mike, but one place very much is. Mike was the first minor to ever get a contract for the United States Special Operations Command. He's done six. six he's contracts. done. He's got. He got clearance, and he's done six contracts um, with the military. So tell me some of these projects you've done already with either MIT or the Defense Department. Oh, some of them I can't tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> but um, is it just math, or are we talking about? Technology and everything in general, really. Okay. It's more about, say, you know, they get inserted into this third world country and they don't have A, B, C, and D signals and they need to do X, Y, Z. How do you do that? That work is an extension of what Mike has been doing for years. Uh, my mom had spinal surgery a few years ago and she couldn't get off the couch or out of the bed very easily. So what I did was I took a video doorbell and a smart door lock and I was able to make a face recognition algorithm to identify the five most common people that would come in and check on her and it would recognize their face and if it was recognized it would unlock the door. So where's all this going? Wherever Mike wants it to go. He's driving. You know. He's driving right now. Indeed he is. It's actually very realistic. And, and he appears to be on the road to success. I guess. <laughs> Bob Buckley. Well, Fox 8 News.